Hello there, it is I, Ariman the Exile, and today I'm casting you another video between me as a demon hunters against a world eaters, the Blood Legion of Corn. I present you this battle on the map called Chaos Gate. Okay, let me just take a quick picture of this beautiful map. Look at this beauty beautiful map. It seems like this map is like almost uh, made for like Down of Four Soulstorm uh, stronghold. It seems like that. It's pretty similar, but it is not. Okay, let's see what is going on. Oops, oops Daisy. Let's see. All right, let me hide that. Let me show that taskbar actually, and let's play it on. Uh, okay, I have picked the Grey Knight path. That is what I did, and I am now going for Teleportium Orbitals, this day building a Brotherhood Champion, us. and uh, Architect, and another Brotherhood Champion. Let's see what the World Eaters do. This is insane AI. Let me remind you, the insane AI with advanced tactics, so they don't care about your stuff. I await your pleasure, master. Four is strong, chaos is strong. They used to say. Your word is our All right, they are building. Uh, they will probably be screaming a lot. We follow you, great champion. Because they're world eaters, right? They like to scream. You can see the stone Death of Malediction here. And there is some Alpha Legioner who is like so close to that stone Maledictum. But he is not... He is not uh, taking it because he's dead, right? And you'll see some fallen blood, blood uh, marines, world eater marines and ultramarines of course. Let's see what is going on in the middle of the map. A lot of dead ultramarines and world eaters. First contact with the enemy. Brotherhood champion versus the blood in melee. Only one left. And the whole squad is completely wiped out. Alright. What's going on on the other side? Enemy interceptors capturing another point. They saw blood cultists in range. They are charging at them, now retreating. Little bit of tactical displays here. Blood letters ready. Very scary creatures indeed in this uh, Grim Dark universe. They are one of the toughest beings. Especially when they can be upgraded to like two tier 3, like they got. Uh, Two upgrades, two levels of upgrading for them. That's pretty scary if you ask me. And they can stand against many things. They do a lot of damage in melee. In lore, those swords they are wearing are pretty dope as hell. I believe only a true madman can wield that sword. Or you can be a bloodletter to wield it. <laughs> Simple as that. Alright. Uh, Alatar of Corn has been built on this side. On this side, they are trying to capture the point, but they failed. The position is summoning Grenade's Purgator squad and capturing a lot of points. What is this? I have somehow accidentally missed this guys right here. We can see the Thunderhawk gunship has fallen on this corrupted. Chaos Gate planet and we see some bodies of the Ultramarines that is why they have sent the best of the best Grey Knights to deal with this creatures of chaos there we got the Hellspawn, the Gate War Portal the Chaos demonic creatures are coming from this portal it seems <laughs> that's pretty scary alright but Grey Knights do not fear any demonic creatures 
they are on the mission to destroy them and we can see this portal is like closed a lot of ultramarine bodies and world eater marines dead you can see bodies everywhere all right Brotherhood champion has figured out that the cultists are capturing his relic I believe he is not pleased with that He's charging at them He's saying fuck you heretics I will get them back Incoming purification tower Upgrading this listening posts to tier 2 okay yeah as I said a lot of dead bodies on the ground two squads of blood letters that's pretty scary if you ask me they even got like two squads of range cultists tier 2 is completed for this building now Architect he doesn't know what is going on, clearly. Purification tower is gonna be destroyed. Grey Knights is gained. There we got the surge room. That's the hero of the world eaters. Now they are screaming. Blood for the blood gun. Going into the melee. Interceptors. interceptors, two squads of interceptors. They are pretty expensive grey knights, I need to tell you that. And there is another cool command squad. He seems like an enforcer to me, and I believe he is. Like a fallen commissar or something like that. We even got prime berserkers. Look at these models. Beautiful. Surger knows how to do that, probably. He can produce the prime berserkers, primeras berserkers. That is what they are. I believe this damage is alive. They can do a little bit better than that. They got school champion as a leader and they can add... Ooh, Ooh that's a heavy strike. From the fine reserves. But Green Knights don't give up. They are using all they can to like put these berserkers down. Prime Berserker is dead. This one even had a flamer on. That's not a classic flame. Blood letters squad completely gone. Now only Surgeron is left alive. Grey Knights does not skip. They don't scare. Cultis doesn't scare them. That is what they wanted to say. Okay, surge room between these grey knights. <laughs> this is like a kill bill scene. But except the surge room dies and these grey knights completely demolish him. Incoming Inquisitor Lord, Commander. Well said, Inquisitor. The mind without purpose will wander in dark places. Innocence proves nothing. Innocence proves nothing exactly as a true Inquisition would say. Now we have some blood crushers. Damn. Riding uh, this juggernaut creature. Demonic spawns everywhere. But Grey Knights are not afraid of demons. That is their specialty, you know. It's like they make every day something to eat. Every day know how to like cook that and eat it. They are prepared. Okay, some corn abilities coming from the castle. Oh, we got some blood slaughterer vehicle. That's the face only mother can love. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, <laughs> Lord Inquisitor wielding his power sword, leading his brethren, he knows how to slay chaos, he can fought many battles. In the eyes of the Emperor, the many faces of heresy are equally down. 
Now cultists are going for the critical location, it seems. And they have already... They got one to, in armory. We can see some benefits for the space marines and cultists. Increased damage and for the range weapons of all marines, okay. We got, they got four generators, no, even five generators at this time. Grey Knight's got four. There is a builder Grey Knight. Grey Knight Black Marine squad. Interesting. They even got that. Okay. Let's see what is going on here. A couple of researchers for the Grey Knights and for the Inquisitor Lord, it seems. Some benefits for the infantry and heroes. Alright. World Eaters going up for the full command squad. Anything else? No. No, yes, actually. Gifts of corn. Updating strategic Researching the expensive thing. Gifts of corn provides global bonus power resource and global bonus of requisition resource in melee. When they go in melee, they usually uh, get more, more requisition and more power. Death Marine has fallen. We can see this Dreadnought now in action. And there it is, the Herald of Corn. There he is. Six minutes base. until taking old victory. Six minutes to control area victory. AI is leading this to victory. One critical location, pretty much safe. Nobody captured it. Yeah. First. Demon Ghost. Demon Cost uh, has fallen. They got two purification towers, and now a lot of Grey Knights are there. And they got some plasma guards, bodyguards of the Inquisition. And uh, one with the Meltagon, interesting. Dreadnought and, and the Juggernaut, I mean Meltagon, are attacking this Librarian building. And Librarian building is going for the Psych Spanish ability that goes for the Demon, uh, for the Whisper Lord. Now Grey Knights got a lot of abilities. A lot of skills also provided using those spears, cutting, cutting them like butter. Even a mighty dreadnought of the corn cannot stand against this might of the Grey Knights. You can see some demon cameras also there. And some blades, nemesis blades. Blood. Slaughterer is falling down so quickly. Perfication upgraded with side cannons. Perfication squad. Now the blood crusher crushed one of the Grey Knights. But that's not good enough. There is still a lot of more to do with it. Cultists dying left and right. The Bolted is farming blood pressure, it seems. Going very low at the, with the economy right here. But power plus 80. Let's see. Yeah, as long as they. Now well, we got some Terminator also in the field. That means they have reached the tier 4. They have reached tier 4, yeah, yeah, we can see this blood tower castle here, it is upgraded, that means world eaters have been upgraded to tier 4 now. I believe uh, we can say same for the Grey Knights, but they only need Astro Telepathica, so they, they will be tier 4. No, they, I believe I am tier 3 at this point, and they are tier 4. World Eater is only missing one building. Corn and Grapples against Grey Knights. 
Not doing well. Mid, mid cannon build, uh, mid, mid carrier just uh, falling real quick. Corn Raptors now slaughtering a couple of Grey Knights, but also losing a couple of models. And that's the whole infantry gone. Now Red Fortress are the melee Terminators, very strong in melee, upgrading some lightning clouds. We can also go for Chainsaw, Chainsaw and Power Fist. A lot of Terminators now on the field. But losing a couple of models. And the Grey Knights has lost a couple of models as well. This Blood Focus got some grenade launchers on them. But that is not going to be enough. Okay, Grey Knight Tech Marine has been rebuilt and he is now repairing. AI number 1 almost went against Grey Knights. It was left like on 1 minute and 30 seconds. Remember, as long as you see them, they are fighting between themselves. That is what happens when they are in the match. <laughs> Most of the infantry of the world eaters, when they show up, they will fight among themselves. Now we see Demonic Lord of Corn. There he is. He's looking pretty demonic as well, yeah. Uh, where is the battle? Where is the battle? Don't worry. We got some battle for you. Very nice. Attack. Avenge those fallen ultramarine brothers. Avenge them. Okay. What is this? Assassin. Ha! <laughs> Interesting. That's the stealth assassin. On this map. He's probably informing them what is going on. And that's... That's a natural the thing. Darkness flies. What else is natural on this map? I'm curious. Probably not much. Oh yeah. <laughs> War portals, of course. And yeah, Grey Knight's got a warp reactor, which is a thermoplasma generator. Okay, corn terminators adding some meltagons and auto cannons. Interesting stuff. They can also go for a plasma gun and for a heavy flamer. They got a lot of upgrades. Massacre Chamber coming up, the second one. And there it is, the Great Gate of the Brood Eaters. That means they have every single building finished. But will they go for a tier 5? Because in that building you can go for tier 5. Astral Particle, okay, that means we are clearly tier 4 now. We can go for the Terminators probably. Now we are tier 4. Our enemy is also tier 4. This is a late game now. Grey Knights. Purifers capturing this critical and uh, the other critical is also being captured by the Grey Knights. In the middle of this disaster world. Show me where you would like me to work your Prime Berserkers. Oh. This madman is wielding this this sword of the blood letters. As I said, this sword is be can be wielded only by the true madman. Like he is. He has a plasma gun, as we can see, and that sword, I don't know, the blood letter sword. The only true madman can wield it. Okay. Now we can see this, this prime, Primaris world eater with the grenades. Wheel of core, interesting. That's a nice voice acting. Purification towers, uh, 
are going to be tier 2 now. It increases radius of potential zone, causes purification decrease to cast increased damage on two enemies. Okay. Inquisitorial Razor Bags online now. They heard. They need to purge some heretics. And some victory. heavy Xenos. I mean, uh, some heavy demons. Pardon me. What, what am I talking even about here? Okay. Uh, corn possessed money is what very dangerous in melee it seems they do not do any damage in range just like this prime berserk squad and corn terminators corn terminator squad is made for uh, range and red butchers I believe they are called uh, for the for the uh, melee Melee terminators, but they are pretty similar. Okay, tier 4 is now complete. My bad. My bad. Now they can go for the terminators. And the world eaters already got tier 4. They can finish it. They didn't go for tier 5. <laughs> Librarian. I mean, Grey Knights had to invest a lot of requisition into this beautiful army of the Grey Knights. That is why. Uh, they kind of lost a lot of stuff and the insane AI is doing practically nothing. Now another warp reactor has been finished. What's going on in the armory? Nothing special it seems. <laughs> Meat carrier. Meat carrier is pop full we can see the the world eaters got uh, everything full they got also pretty nice economy going they are building army cape increase now they got something in these buildings Four minutes probably the blood crushers yeah a lot of blood crushers in the in those demon gates they are now going for the corn zirkers they still didn't finish the tier 5. It doesn't even matter. Heavy duty teleporter being researched. That means it will it will give you terminators, I believe. Okay, that's the king with the last cannon on it. And we have some inquisitorial predator online. Requires tier 5. We have a plasma cannon. Blood pressures. Fighting this grenade. Legions. Even the grenade tech marines got something to say about this. Surge room with uh, his school champion. Got a fall. Instantly, because those Grey Knights do not care about them. What is this? Duel. Duel. Nice stuff. Oh my god, this Razor Bats got something very good on them. That's another red map. Possessed Marines has been slaughtered. I mean, the Grey Knights also lost a lot of models. A berserk squad. Grey Knights are fighting now. This is the time we've been waiting for. Very good match indeed. Razor back with soul cannons and this psychic bolt munition. Very good actually against these creatures like gold eaters. Librarian is only there. I believe Grey Knights lost the Inquisitorial Commander, but Tech Marine is also there. He has one uh, servitor, one assault servitor, and two weapon servitors. He can build a lot, he's looking pretty nice. He 
He seems like a guy who could be good for hold stuff, for melee, combat, for combat and range part of me. Great A Terminators online for the first time. Excellent. Terminator Apothecary, one minute to achieve victory. Going for the blood let blood thruster. Okay, blood thruster is in this building. That means they are tier 5. They can complete Dark Apostle. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. The brother, brother, captain, grandmaster of this, of this battlefield. World Eaters managed to get to the tier 5, but it seems like they're not doing well now. Is that Apostle who is using his abilities? Yes, there he is. The Apostle. They know, they know. But it is too late for them. It is too late. They lost. World Eaters lost, almost been wiped out from the existence. Grey Knights managed to take and achieve victory. <laughs> I like this mid carrier. Nice, interesting model. Alright, we had some dreadnoughts also with plasma guns. Oh, he was like grabbing that Terminator. <laughs> and the Grandmaster is like, finish him. <laughs> Alright, let's see the results at the end. I believe. Uh, the results was not like the best uh, for myself, but it is okay. We did pretty good job, it seems. Let's see. Yeah, military. 168 kills from the Grey Knights. Uh, from the Grey Knights, so uh, 67 units lost. So 67 Grey Knights has fallen. 20 building uh, demolished. 5 building lost, army size overall was 110, so the AI managed to kill 67 infantry and they lost so much as I said, they demolished 5 buildings, yeah, and they lost a lot of buildings, they had be better army size here, of course AI get 20k of uh, requisition gathered and spent almost similar uh, okay and we have gathered like 80k 18k uh, and 7k of requisition gathered okay they got even better power for some reason and they even spend more but I had two thermal generators so that that tells you a lot how, how much the world eaters can gather when they go in melee what, a, what about technology uh, yeah they have uh, better research they have 28 I have 90 19 uh, 38 for the unit upgrades by Grey Knights and 32 by the world eaters they have reinforced a little bit better infantry and they they captured six strategic points I captured eight two critical locations from the boat size and they even managed to capture two relics one from me and the other one on their side I only just decapped the relic and captured it so that was it I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode and I will see you in the next one I believe so stay tuned